Hello everyone, my name is Adela Garcia. I am honored to be able to share my story with you today. While my journey has been difficult, it has made me who I am today. More recently, data showed that 50% of teen mothers receive a high school diploma by the age of 22, while fewer attend post-secondary education. However, these statistics don't reflect the, the challenges we face as teen parents that minimize our opportunities for gaining a higher education. When I was 17, I became pregnant with my son, Matthew, and so I enrolled in an independent study program to continue my education. As the months passed by and my belly grew, I would take the 94 bus on San Fernando Road from Sun Valley to Pacoima Monday through Friday. And then when Matthew was born, if a kind stranger happened to be nearby, I would ask them to hold Matthew while I folded his stroller to get onto the bus. It was difficult to juggle school with a child on a fixed income and balance living in an abusive home. But I tried every day, and when I was 19, I had finally earned enough credits to graduate with my high school diploma. The combination of breaking the cycle of abuse and being able to pursue my education was the turning point of my life. I graduated from Glendale Community College with an AA in sociology, and despite the challenges I faced as a first-generation student, I was able to transfer to Cal State LA, earning a Bachelor's of Science in Rehabilitation Services and a Certificate in Veteran Services. Receiving the support of the LA County Commission for Women's Resilience Scholarship through my educational trajectory was a lifeline. Today, I'm the program director at the Campbell Center, where we focus on empowering adults with disabilities to successfully gain their independence through opportunity and choice. I'm inspired to continue working in fields that address the needs of people harmed by systems as a change of agent in my community. Lastly, I want to encourage you to be a lifeline for women in the LA County seeking to pursue a secondary education by supporting the LA County Commission for Women's Resilience Scholarship. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jasmine Jam. I'm aspiring to be a healthcare professional. I'm taking science classes to pursue healthcare. I grew up in and out of foster homes and faced many insecurities thereafter. And I did not have glasses as a child and going from foster home to foster home made me get very behind in school. I initially started going to community college to make up credits for high school, and I was the first in my family to go to college. My inspiration to go into healthcare came from trying to help my mom get her heart surgery and accompanying her to her appointments and witnessing healthcare disparities that I longed to eradicate. Uh, this scholarship really bridged the gap between my passion for learning and whether I could afford to pursue it. Being able to buy textbooks and recommended course materials lifted a huge weight off my shoulders. I was able to get a laptop and regular internet access when classes became remote during the pandemic. I could buy school supplies. It really made me feel encouraged and supported. This scholarship makes pursuing a higher education possible for women from all walks of life. Please continue to support students like me. Without your generous contributions, it would be very difficult for me to take steps to bring my dreams of going to healthcare into fruition. Hi, my name is Lucero Noyola. I am Mexican American and I grew up in the Southeast region of Los Angeles County. I experienced a lot of trauma and hardship growing up, such as poverty, abuse, incarceration, family separation, and teen motherhood. I was able to overcome all of these adversities thanks to the support of many people, programs, and services. This scholarship specifically helped me persist and graduate college. Without my degree, my daughter and I would not have the life that we do today. This scholarship ensured my family would thrive beyond my time as a student. 